The Karasthi script, also spelled Karoshthi or Karasthi, was an ancient Indian script used in ancient Gandhara now Pakistan and eastern Afghanistan, a Mahajanapada of ancient India, to write Gandhari Prakrit and Sanskrit. It was popular in Central Asia as well. An Abugida, it was introduced at least by the middle of the 3rd century BCE, possibly during the 4th century BCE, and remained in use until it died out in its homeland around the 3rd century CE. It was also in use in Bactria, the Kushan Empire, Sogdia and along the Silk Road, where there is some evidence it may have survived until the 7th century in the remote way stations of Khotan and Nia. Karasthi is encoded in the Unicode range U plus 10A00 U plus 10A5F, from version 4.1. Form Karasthi is mostly written right to left type A, but some inscriptions type B already show the left to right direction that was to become universal for the later South Asian scripts. Each syllable includes the short a sound by default, with other vowels being indicated by diacritic marks. Recent epigraphical evidence highlighted by Professor Richard Solomon of the University of Washington has shown that the order of letters in the Karasthi script follows what has become known as the Arapakana alphabet. As preserved in Sanskrit documents, the alphabet runs Ara pa ca na la da ba da sa va ta ya sta ka sa ma ga sta ya sva dha sa kha ka sa sta jnya rtha or ha bha cha sma hva tsa gha da na pha ska ysa ska ta da some variations in both the number and order of syllables occur in extant texts. Karasthi includes only one standalone vowel which is used for initial vowels in words. Other initial vowels use the a character modified by diacritics. Using epigraphic evidence, Solomon has established that the vowel order is a e i o u rather than the usual vowel order for Indic scripts, a i u e o. That is the same as the Semitic vowel order. Also, there is no differentiation between long and short vowels in Karasthi. Both are marked using the same vowel markers. The alphabet was used in Gandharan Buddhism as a mnemonic for remembering a series of verses on the nature of phenomena. In Tantric Buddhism, the list was incorporated into ritual practices and later became enshrined in mantras. Vowels Consonants <inaudible> 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 Topic. There are two special modified forms of these consonants. Topic. Additional marks. Topic. Various additional marks are used to modify vowels and consonants. Topic. Punctuation. Topic. Nine Karasthi punctuation marks have been identified. Topic. Numerals. Topic. Karasthi included a set of numerals that are reminiscent of Roman numerals. The system is based on an additive and a multiplicative principle, but does not have the subtractive feature used in the Roman number system. The numerals, like the letters, are written from right to left. There is no zero and no separate signs for the digits 5 to 9. Numbers in Karasthi use an additive system. For example, the number 1996 would be written as 1004-4-1-100-20-20-20-20-10-4-2 image, text. History the Karasthi script was deciphered by James Princep (1799–1840) using the bilingual coins of the Indo-Greek Kingdom, obverse in Greek, reverse in Pali, using the Karasthi script. This in turn led to the reading of the Edicts of Ashoka, some of which, from the northwest of South Asia, were written in the Karasthi script. The major rock edicts at Mansara and Shabazgari. Scholars are not in agreement as to whether the Karasthi script evolved gradually or was the deliberate work of a single inventor. An analysis of the script forms shows a clear dependency on the Aramaic alphabet but with extensive modifications to support the sounds found in Indic languages. 
One model is that the Aramaic script arrived with the Achaemenid Empire's conquest of the Indus River modern Pakistan in 500 BCE and evolved over the next 200 plus years, reaching its final form by the 3rd century BCE where it appears in some of the edicts of Ashoka found in northwestern part of South Asia. However, no intermediate forms have yet been found to confirm this evolutionary model, and rock and coin inscriptions from the 3rd century BCE onward show a unified and standard form. An inscription in Aramaic dating back to the 4th century BCE was found in Sirkap, testifying to the presence of the Aramaic script in northwestern India at that period. According to Sir John Marshall, this seems to confirm that Karoshthi was later developed from Aramaic. The study of the Karasthi script was recently invigorated by the discovery of the Gandharan Buddhist texts, a set of birch bark manuscripts written in Karasthi, discovered near the Afghan city of Hatta just west of the Khyber Pass in Pakistan. The manuscripts were donated to the British Library in 1994. The entire set of manuscripts are dated to the 1st century CE, making them the oldest Buddhist manuscripts yet discovered. Topic Unicode Topic Karasthi was added to the Unicode standard in March, 2005 with the release of version 4.1. The Unicode block for Karasthi is U plus 10A00 U plus 10A5F. Topic Gallery Topic Topic See also Topic Brahmi History of Afghanistan History of Pakistan Pre-Islamic Scripts in Afghanistan Topic Further Reading Topic Kashgar und die Karasthi Topic References Topic Dani, Ahmad Hassan. Karoshthi Primer, Lahore Museum Publication Series 16, Lahore, 1979 Fock, Harry. Schrift im Alten Indian, ein Forschungsbericht MIT Anmerkungen, Gunter Narr Verlag, 1993 in German Fussmans, Gerard. Les premiers systèmes de culture en Inde, in Anuaire du Collège de France 1988-1989 in French Hinuber, Oscar von. Der Beginn der Schrift und Frühschriftlichkeit in Indien, Franz Steiner Verlag, 1990 in German Nassim Khan, M. 1997. Ashokan Inscriptions, A Paleographical Study. Atheriot Archaeology, Vol. I, pp. 131-150. Peshawar Nasim Khan, M. 1999. Two dated Karoshthi inscriptions from Gandhara. Journal of Asian Civilizations Journal of Central Asia, Vol. 22, No. 1, July 1999, 99-103. Nasim Khan, M. 2000. An inscribed relic casket from D.I.R. The Journal of Humanities and Social Sciences, Vol. V, No. 1, March 1997, 21-33. Peshawar Nasim Khan, M. 2000. Karoshthi Inscription from Swabi, Gandhara. The Journal of Humanities and Social Sciences, Vol. V, No. 2. September 1997, 49-52. Peshawar. Nasim Khan, M. 2004. Karoshthi Manuscripts from Gandhara. Journal of Humanities and Social Sciences. Volume 12, Nos. 1 and 2 9-15. Peshawar Nasim Khan, M. 2009. Karoshthi Manuscripts from Gandhara 2nd ed. First published in 2008. Norman, Kenneth R. The Development of Writing in India and Its Effect Upon the Pali Canon, in Wiener Zeitschrift für die Kunde Sudassiens 36, 1993. Solomon, Richard. New Evidence for a Gandhari Origin of the Arapakana Syllabary. Journal of the American Oriental Society. April to June 1990, Volume 110, 2, p. 255 to 273. Solomon, Richard. An Additional Note on Arapakana. Journal of the American Oriental Society, 1993, Volume 113, 2, p. 275 to 6. Solomon, Richard 1998. Indian Epigraphy, A Guide to the Study of Inscriptions in Sanskrit, Prakrit, and the Other Indo-Aryan Languages. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-509984-2. Solomon, Richard. Karasthi syllables used as location markers in Gandharan stupa architecture. Pier Francesco Calieri, ed. Architetti, Capimastri, Artigiani, L'organizzazione dei cantieri e della produzione artistica nell'Asia Ellenistica. Studi offerti a Domenico Facena nel suo ottantesimo compleanno, Siri Orientale Rome 100, Rome, Istituto Italiano per l'Africa e l'Oriente, 2006, pp. 181-224.
Topic: External links. Topic: List of all known Kharosthi Gandhari inscriptions. Indoscript 2.0, a paleographic database of Brahmi and Kharosthi. A preliminary study of Kharosthi manuscript paleography by Andrew Glass, University of Washington, 2000. On the origin of the early Indian scripts, a review article by Richard Solomon, University of Washington, via archive.org.